Miss V's Corner. In today's video, I will share with you another great website and resource I found online for those of us who are music and drama teachers, and especially those of us who are teaching the little ones, preschool all the way to maybe 10 year olds, or for those of us who learn, who teach English as a second language, those little kids preschool all the way to 10 year olds, students that need basic vocabulary. And how else would you teach those students the basic vocabulary if they were not for short stories and songs? Stick around and I'll show you that resource. Check it out, it's well worth your time. I am here visiting the website called learnenglishkids.britishcouncil.org. Or this is a great free resource that I'm not paid to advertise, but I found it online and I wanted to share with the rest of the web world, teachers around the world that need resources like this. I stumbled across this website many years ago and I'm always using it when I'm talking and teaching my little ones. Uh, I'm a music teacher, so for me, listen and watch, especially songs, is something that I always use in my class, especially with the little kids. Now, let's click on the songs. And here you have multitude and pages and pages and pages of different songs. They are geared towards the little ones, as you can see, because of the illustrations and all that. So let's just click on, the, you know, a random one, brush, uh, brush bus. Now, if I click here, the song is played. Hey, everybody, it's the brush bus. Find your toothbrush and your toothpaste. Let's have fun and brush. Woo! everybody, let's all brush them now. Brush bus. I can imagine the fun you're having with your little ones as you try to um, sing the song. And the kids here have the lyrics, and they're learning how to sing and say those particular words. Uh, there's a game that goes along with this. There are tons of resources, like you can print the words to the song. And then if you teach um, English, elementary English or intensive English, English as a second language, um, ESL classes, those are very handy to have on. There are games and worksheets, wonderful for uh, student learners. Uh, especially those little ones. And if you're an English teacher, this is a great, great resource to have. Short stories, again, um, you can find things here that have to uh, that deal with um, drama, so Shakespeare. This video deals with Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, of course, games, worksheets, print the story. Uh, this can be done in drama classes, maybe for your a little bit older students that are not completely little little ones, um, but geared towards teaching English or the students that are learning English and also uh, are getting familiar with um, English vocabulary and just the basics of English language and culture. And Shakespeare is such a huge part of um, that. If you are a intensive English teacher or a language teacher, uh, read and write, speak and spell, sounds, uh, tricky words, grammar, vocabulary, fun and games, always, all the time. There are some music games that I found, for example, this one about the animal band quiz. The most popular music instrument in the world is random. <laughs> That's correct. So um, playing little games like these are cool. Um, you have other games um, that are maybe story maker, school run, but they're wonderful, wonderful for students who are learning English. Again, print and make, you have flashcards, you have crafts, worksheets and coloring. But if you want to find resources that have a specific topic, I would go to resources and uh, on the left, you can choose multiple levels. You can choose uh, sections like their songs. If you are a, a music teacher or short stories, check it out or resources, or you can actually go by topics and find the topic of music, click apply, and then all of these appear. The topics 
a multiple and um i'm sure you can find lots of things that you you are able to use in your um classes traditional songs traditional stories i'm sure you'll be able to find lots and lots of resources for your kiddos this is a great resource for you to have as elementary teachers please go check it out um learn english dot british council dot org wonderful wonderful resource okay so learn english kids dot british council dot org a great website to check out if you are an elementary teacher that teaches english as a second language intensive english or if you are a music teacher that are looking for some fun games or fun songs for little ones to sing while they're learning how to speak english or if you're just a parent who needs additional help with your um students or your child learning english sounds and going through some um flashcards and uh some worksheets for your kiddos um check it out it's fun thanks for watching